Hi, and welcome back to the program. Today in our how-to segment, Bill Gare is gonna help us install a new stove. We're just unpacking it right now, and this looks like a beauty, Bill. It really is. This is a new Amana range with the sealed burners, just like you get in a house. So it really makes cleaning a snap. These mm -hmm. run 449 bucks, President's Club price at Camping World right now. Okay, and we're gonna take this into that RV over there. Right, we're gonna take this and bring it in and okay. install it. Okay, here we go. So basically, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the top and get it out of the way. And we created a little space here by taking out the uh, dinette table. Yeah, that way we can set the old one there. And then, okay. so there's a few screws under here. Sometimes the manufacturers hide them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you can usually see they're a completely different screw than they use on the rest of it. And then, of course, the gas line. Always want to make sure you don't forget the gas oh, line. No. Make sure you turn the gas off before you do this. Turn the gas off. Turn the gas off. It's always a good idea. All right. Now, there are different sizes of these. The sealed, sealed burners only come in the 22-inch range. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a 17, then you're going to have to do a little bit of cabinet work. Okay. Now, and we just slide that guy yeah, out. You can see it just basically pops loose. And mm -hmm. I can get a hold of it. Don't grab it by the handle because it could break off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab it either side here. Okay. So let's just kind of set it right up on the lip here. Okay. Start sliding it in and make sure you feed the gas line as you go. Feed the gas line in so you don't have that problem later. Slide it in carefully. There it is. So that fits exactly the size of the old one. Just It's just exact same size as the old one. Mm -hmm. Are they all that way? There are smaller ones, but you can see this is an exact fit for this particular one. Yeah, that's nice and snug in there. And that's all we need to do then? Yeah, well, we need to put the screws in it and the mm -hmm. gas line back on. If you could hold that lid up, sure. I could put the screws in. All right. Don't have, like I said, in this business, you need more than two hands. Boy, I do. And all it takes is the four screws going back in, and that secures it. That and the gas line. Mm-hmm. Okay, and reattach the gas yeah, line. Yeah, you might have to bend it around a little bit. Sometimes they're, the gas lines are a little bit different, fit on little different models. So this f will fit most any of the 22 inch ranges that, that uh, are on the market. And then of course, when we're done, we wanna make sure that we check for leaks. Always check for leaks. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems to be pretty nice tight. Nice and snug, gas is on, gas and now we can on. test it here. Test for leaks. I always want to test for leaks. And I don't see anything, so why don't we put the lid down and let's try it. All right, fire that baby up. Now we just turned the gas on, so it's gonna take a minute for it to get here. So let's turn it on where it says light. Incidentally, this front burner is a high output burner, nearly twice what the air of the burners are. There we go. Boy, there it goes, isn't that beautiful? Time to cook, what do we got? I'm not sure, but why don't you run and get some steaks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I always have to run for the steaks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Bill. All right. Thanks for you. All right. We'll be right back. 